what would you do if I told you you could get a subwoofer that has dual 13.8 inch drivers over 1200 watts RMS amplifier, it exceeds our extreme basaholic room size rating, and it's under $3,000 shipped. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Dallasalo with Audioholics, and I am happy to report we have another Arendel sound review for you guys. This time it's their flagship powered subwoofer. It's a 1723. It's a hard model number to remember, but the performance is something you'll never forget. 2V, there you go, the 2V subwoofer. It retails for $28.99, and if you want the premium finish options, it's an extra $100. And that's free shipping. So that's quite a deal for what we're going to about to show you. So I want to show you a couple of pictures here and just go over James Larson's review. It's on the editorial side, audioholics.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Here's what the subwoofer looks like. And I basically want to show you both sides of it, that it's got dual opposing drivers. And we'll talk about what the purpose of that is. So just to give you some background, it's, the, um, it's their flagship subwoofer. It's got two 13.8 inch woofers and they're in opposing sides of the cabinet. 1200 watt RMS class D amplifier, slot ported and has an LCD screen controlled and it's app controlled. So it's got a lot of features we're gonna get into. So build quality wise, this thing is a beast. It is, it is basically constructed of HDF, which is a more dense version that you're used to with MDF with most uh, speakers. It's well braced. It's built like a tank. It weighs nearly as much. <laughs> That's according to James Larson. We got to get him working out. Um, James claims it has a luxury class feel. It's a it ha he had the matte black finish, and it's really nice and satin black as well. Gloss finishes are only a hundred dollar upcharge, and it's a, these. Um, basically, he was talking about the sub has very capable long throw woofers. Dual opposing driver mounting reduces the majority of cabinet vibrations. And he basically set his drink on top of it and he cranked it up and it did not fall off or it did not cause any problems. Some amplifier features I want to tell you about. It has dual RCA inputs, dual XLR inputs, and dual XLR outputs. The sub can be independently configured based on each input. For example, the sub can run in a totally different configuration based on RCA1 versus XLR2. That's pretty cool. So if you want to assign it different functions on your AVR, if you have multiple sub outputs, you could have different presets already stored um, without having to mess with the DSP. Now, if you do want to get into the nitty gritty, it has a seven band parametric equalizer. So you don't need an outboard equalizer because you could adjust the frequency and Q on the fly and it's through the app, which is really incredible. It's extremely tweakable over every aspect of operation. The DSP operate can work over subgroupings as well as individual subs. So I guess he means you could daisy chain a bunch of these subs and then do the app control through the one. So very cool. So according to James, he said it's basically it was bulletproof in his testing. You know, most subs these days are protected from being overdriven, but they can still make ugly noises, whether it's poor chuffing or woofer bottoming or or just high distortion in an amplifier. The 1723 2V, on the other hand, cannot be pushed into making an ugly sound. You could throw any signal you want at it, keep and it keeps cool, solid rock build quality and performance. And, um, you know, one thing I wanted to tell you about the Arendelle is they offer free shipping on this product, a 10-year warranty, 60 day return policy. And one thing I really uh, respect out of the brand, they include their own CEA 2010 test data on their website, frequency response graphs. We actually verified their CEA 2010 data and we found our results were within two or three dB of the numbers they reported. And, you know, that's really good because these tests vary a lot. It depends on the microphone you're using. You know, it depends on a lot of factors. The, the weather conditions of the day can affect the performance. So to be within a two or three dB window of what they reported is refreshing to me. It means the company stands behind their product. You know, they have integrity in the performance of it, in the design. Um, I noticed that all their speakers are THX rated, but the subwoofer is not. I would imagine it probably would still meet or exceed the THX criteria 
they probably didn't pay the licensing fee on those subs because they wanted to keep the price really competitive with the online marketplace. So I want to show you the inside of this sub here. Really cool, the dual opposing drivers like we were talking about before. Nice big motor structure. You know, it's a vented pole piece. This thing looks awesome. It looks like it's, it means some serious business. So I want to share my screen and go over um, basically just uh, James Larson's review because a lot of people, they know about Audioholics, but they don't know about our YouTube. I mean, they don't know about our editorial site. So here we are. Basically, um, if you go on the Audioholics homepage right now, if you scroll down a little bit, it's right here, the written review. Now, I'm not going to do elegance to James Larson's effort here. He put a lot of effort into this review uh, in measurements and just articulating the sound quality of it. So I really recommend it's a great review for you guys to take a look at. Here's the interface that you have with the um, subwoofer. So it has an on-screen display here. Here's where you have your parametric EQ. And here's how you adjust frequency, Q, and gain. Now, if you want to figure out the or calculate the, the Q of your filter, you basically find a problem in your room that you measure. Of course, use an REW and, and, and a calibrated microphone. Let's say it's 25 hertz. You then basically take that as your center frequency and you divide it by the bandwidth of the bump or usually the bump. You don't really want to EQ the nulls too much. You take the bandwidth of that and let's say the bandwidth is 10 hertz. It goes from 15 to 35 hertz. You divide the center frequency by that bandwidth. That's your Q. That's what you put in that center column there, right there. And then you adjust the gain of it, whether you want to cut it 1 dB, 3 dB, 10 dB. You have all that flexibility. And you can see here uh, on their app, basically showing you exactly what I just told you. So here they had a 50 hertz bump that they just basically put in here by adjusting the Q and the gain. And here's on the on-screen display of how you can configure the subwoofer um, through your phone. And again, here's that picture that I showed you of the dual opposing drivers. And there's just, you know, awesome quotes here. The Rendell sub conveys the awe and spectacle as well as subtlety and serenity. Serenity now, serenity now for all you Seinfeld fans. And uh, the 1723 2V added a foundation that doesn't become apparent until you remove it. You know, that speaks volumes. That means that the subwoofer doesn't draw attention to itself. Basically, he's saying that it's not noisy. It's very tight. It's very integrated into the system, not boomy. Last quote here, the 1723 2V moved my sofa as if I had a transducer installed directly into the seat. You know about those butt kickers you could put under your seats? I'm not a huge fan of those. I'd much rather have that tactile energy be naturally derived from the subwoofer not an artificial base shaker that you stick under your couch. So that means that this bad boy has a lot of output. Now you can see James Larson picked the subwoofer for outdoors to do his ground plane measurements. And then when we take this data, we put it into uh, charts and we determine, we determine the room size rating. So here's the frequency response. As you can see, this thing is very well EQ'd, very linear, very flat out to 100 hertz. So it's very easy for you to integrate this with smaller uh, bookshelf speakers, or if you want to have stereo subs up front with your mains. Again, here's the uh, different high pass responses. And here's the CEA 2010 data. As I said before, this is within a couple of DB of what a rental has posted on their website. So kudos to them for being honest. And, and these numbers basically exceed our, or they're basically within a DB or two of the minimum to receive our, our certified extreme basaholic rating. Here's the long-term output sweeps. Very linear response. Distortion extremely low. And this is just good stuff. Now, here's a, a graph that's really important. You get people that often say a subwoofer is slow or it's boomy. Not too sure that's an accurate way of uh, describing that. Yeah, so basically... If a sub has too much overhang in the sound, it's usually attributed to a poor group delay. And you'd want to keep it below a cycle or a cycle and a half. And you can see here the blue curve is one cycle. The red curve is a cycle and a half. Usually when you have ported subs, you, they tend to go up beyond a cycle at below the tuning frequency. And you can see here this thing is well behaved. It's well under one cycle, so not detectable in terms of any kind of 
group delay or bad transient response. So the only downside of the subwoofer really is the size. I mean, it's it's a big, heavy box, but it's cool because it's a narrow profile since the subwoofer drivers are on the sides of the cabinet. It's not a big square. It's like a kind of a tall rectangle. It's like a slim, tall rectangle. So I think you guys should definitely take a look at the subwoofer. It's got a 60-day return policy, which is very generous. 10-year warranty is awesome and free shipping. And we have that all here. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope you guys take a look at this brand. We've been very impressed with their speakers that we reviewed, the 1723 MTM speaker uh, about a month ago. We're really impressed with this subwoofer. We think these guys make a really good speaker package, very high performance, very high value, very honest. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.